Good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video we will be discussing uh, you know a lot of a lot of interesting points which I also understood in, in, in the past few of the sessions of few of the readings and I would like to share them uh, in this video. Now let us first try to understand in this palm what you see you know to be a bit slightly different. Now the heart line is dark, the head line is dark, the life line is dark but when we uh, look into the job line it's thinnish and it's not that darkish as well. Now when we see this kind of a thing it generally means that though the person is emotionally very clean there's no islands nothing so the person is doing fine but uh, when we come to headline again there is no issue because the headline is also smooth lifeline also looks to be smooth but the fate line is comparatively lighter uh, you know compared to the other line so this would mean that though the person's emotional mental and life forces are quite uh, balanced and good but when it comes to uh, the person's career there can be some kind of a struggle so whenever you see that one of the lines is lighter compared to the other lines there is likelihood that the amount of energy spent or the amount of focus or concentration might be less now you can also cross check for uh, you know as to why this could have uh, you know happened maybe you will see a smallish island in the beginning of the headline indicating some kind of a frustration which uh, which uh, uh, forced the person not to have that much interest in studies or something like that or you can uh, you can say uh, there might be some other um, markings on uh, mounds let's say an islandish jupiter or some other way there are some other negative marks which would try to explain you as to why the person's job got affected because other lines are healthy but why this one line only is not that dark and why couldn't the person focus on and uh, this can be you know uh, answered this way uh, by checking into the other lines and other markings now another interesting point which I also you know uh, d uh, found out is that you know at times uh, when, when you have the heart and the headline joined together like a single line that's called as the simian line and uh, that can indicate that you know these kind of people can also have a slight tendency towards um, uh, towards few hereditary uh, uh, diseases as well so one who is having a simian line has to be a bit more cautious because there can be some kind of uh, inherent uh, you know inherent um, uh, inherent problems in it uh, inherent genetic defects or something like that there is a possibility it's not a guarantee but yeah in few cases cases like autism and things like that and other cases we do see uh, the heart and the headline to be merged into a single line so there is that possibility of a, a such thing happening and now apart from that also i wanted to discuss about few concepts of the Hindu palmistry as well. In Hindu palmistry, the headline is actually taken as to the mother's line, as we already know, and then the this line is known as the father's line, and then the heart line is taken as the life line, and that is how the you know reference are made. So uh, it's not a very bad uh, you know um, uh, comparison because I've seen that whenever the headline has kind of islands, it does indicate towards some kind of a issue with mother and things like that. Same way, if I find an island on this line and there would be an issue with the father uh, and this also when the heart line is very short it sometimes indicate that the life forces would be or, or probably the life would be short but it is more so because of some kind of a heart issue so you see uh, that is how these lines were interpreted and accounted for in the past especially in uh, Vedic palmistry uh, now apart from that also uh, you know it is found out that you know generally you would find that um, in anyone's hand especially if it's a male hand you would always find the Apollo finger to be longer than Jupiter and in the female's hand you will always find the Jupiter finger to be longer than the uh, to be longer than the Apollo finger and this is one of the things you can cross check in many palms as well and this turns out to be quite true in most of the cases. Now uh, another important point which I wanted to discuss in this video is you know what happens in a sun moon kind of a relation in Vedic astrology. Now what happens is like let's say sun and moon okay they both are now what does sun represents in Vedic astrology sun represents your ego okay and whereas moon represents your mind okay now one when sun and moon are very close in your horoscope let's say sun and moon are in one 
house let's say in the first house or let's say in the second house and third house wherever they are now because sun is in conjunct with moon what happens is sun kind of burns out the moon it's it's like you know burned the moon is burned so the moon will lose its capacity in a way and what will happen is that you know uh, uh, what will happen is that the mind can get disturbed because moon represents your mind or your relationship with your mother now let us try to understand how finally the headline okay having small islands or having defects how is it related in astrological terms as well now uh, let us try to take few examples and try to understand as to how it works now the mind is represented by moon okay and uh, in in palmistry the mind line is this line so this is the mind line and this would be the moon in in case of your vedic astrology now if moon has an aspect of saturn okay we know that there will be some kind of a disturbance because saturn aspecting the moon can take away your peace and again you can see that you know there can be some kind of a ill marks on the headline when else moon if placed in 6th 8th and 12th again it can cause some kind of a stress because we know that moon in 6th 8th and 12th which are malefic houses can cause some uh, amount of stress again uh, when the moon is in 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 the is very emotional or um, when when it becomes overly sensitive because that's what the island also stands for so probably uh, you know um, Uh, the pisces the sign of pisces whatever is the watery sign they are not very well placed like pisces cancer whatever is the you know very emotional and watery signs if they are also you know good planets are not placed there that can also cause a disturbance in the mind line because the mind line represents your uh, your confusions it can indicate how um, you know how your mental attitude is and we see that uh, a lot with the connection of moon Uh, with saturn okay moon being present in 6th 8th and 12th and also the sign of pisces cancer and other uh, water signs to be not that well you know not that stable because uh, they can uh, they can cause over sensitivity apart from that moon with rahu or ketu again can cause a bit of stress because we know rahu and ketu are naturally malefics and again uh, a conjunction or a relation with rahu and ketu that is of moon can cause some amount of problem as well So yeah these are the things which you can cross relate from your astrological chart Let, let's say you have moon uh, aspecting um, or saturn aspecting your moon or you are having let's say moon in 6 let's say uh, a more concrete example saturn is aspecting moon and moon is in the 6th house you will see that there will be disturbance on this on this line as well so that is how you can keep correlating and actually see the whole astrological chart and try to interpret how the lines would be like for example let's say sun is placed very well sun is placed in leo okay let's say in the fifth house we know that when this kind of a thing happens the person will be um, you know very very good in creativity and we can expect a sun line to be coming out from here right so these are the various ways how you can count, uh, you know you can check parallelly and be uh, more clear as to how astrology and palmistry work and how they are interlinked with each other as well thank you i'm shweta hank take care bye bye